Hello, my name is Kevin Smith, and I'm going to be doing a presentation about some of the keys, you know, some of the factors, strengths, weaknesses, about what makes me me, some of my key characteristics. So here we go, we have some key characteristics about me. I'm, I'm a hard worker, you know, I work hard, I put time into everything I do, I try to make it as best as a reflection on my ability to do work as much as I possibly can. I'm multicultural. You know, I've, I've been, I've traveled to many places around the world. I'm bilingual. I have, I am, you know, I've traveled a lot. I'm a team player. I played baseball growing up throughout my whole life. So this is something that has been taught to me and instilled from a young age that the team, the team success always comes before individual success. And another key characteristic about me is my self-confidence or more specifically lack thereof. I am, I don't, I lack a good bit of self-confidence and that's just one of the weaknesses that we're going to talk about a little bit but we're going to start with hard worker i mean i have a strong work work at work ethic you know um i focus strongly on the task at hand i like to see projects completed if i get a task and this is going to lead up to my second point but if you give me a task and says it has to be done in 45 minutes uh, all my attention is going to go to that task in those 45 minutes because i also and very reliable to be on time with tasks and meetings. So that's one thing I, I personally don't enjoy when people are late, so I try to make it a point to never be late and always be about maybe 10 to 15 minutes early to any type of meeting. I, I consistently strive for perfection, which we're gonna come back to because I think that can be a weakness in a way, but it works as a strength because I want, I want it to be perfect and I strive for, for perfection. And when something's not perfect, it bothers me inside and I wanna strive to fix that. And the last one here is organized structure with work works well works well with a schedule i do work very well with a schedule um which can also be seen as a weakness as we can i'll probably say later um but yeah when, once i get into a routine i can do the routine i can work with that schedule and everything that's on that schedule on the list of assignments is going to get done and this is you know and now we're going to talk about what my strikes and song suits which is being multicultural you know I'm a dual citizen of Sweden and the United States my mom was born in Sweden my dad was born here in the US which automatically grants me citizenship to be a United States citizen and also because my, my mother is Swedish I'm automatically a citizen of Sweden I you know I recently got my passport in Washington DC I'm bilingual that might be a little obvious but I am bilingual I do speak fluent Swedish and obviously American um, I'm well-traveled. Um, I've been very fortunate enough to travel around in North America, all throughout the United States, up into Canada, you know, Alaska, a lot in Eastern Europe, almost every country over there. And it's just something that, you know, that helps me appreciate other cultures and people, you know, just seeing how other people interact and what other environments are in the world really think helps, especially in a business environment where you might have foreign people and you have to communicate with them and and everyone's not from the United States. Everyone doesn't have the exact same values. I'm a team player, you know, like I said, I grew up playing baseball. So this is something that's, you know, I've had to work on my entire life, you know. So I'm very receptive to opinions and instruction, especially, you know, when it came from my coaches. As a player, you have to be receptive of instruction because if you want to play, you have to better yourself and you have to earn the coach's trust. I'm willing to put the team first, whether that meant I had to do the dirty work, I had to... You know, I have to do the dirty work. I had to lay down a bunt and sacrifice myself for the greater good of the team. That's the type of player I am and the type of person when you put me in the team. That's the type of team player I am. I'll lead by example and manner. This is kind of going to relate to a little bit of one of my weaknesses. But I'm not a very boisterous person. I'm going to, you know, that's kind of come up later. But I come in, I, I, when it's time to work, I come in and I put in the work. And I think a lot of people can learn by that because, you know, sometimes people don't focus completely on the task at hand. And I respect authority and trust judgment. As, you know, when you work in a team environment, there are obviously going to be people above you. And in just about anything, there's always going to be someone smarter, someone more knowledgeable. So when you can respect those people and trust their judgment because they know better, it just puts you in a better situation overall. And for my weakness... Self-confidence, and like I said before, or lack thereof, I'm not a very self-confident guy. I'm naturally introverted, so this makes it very tough for me to do things. 
like overcome anxiety in unfamiliar situations. This is one of my worst fears for me, is being put in uncomfortable situations because I have a very, very stressful thought process of how to deal with that. I tend to have a naturally negative point of view, and this is, can come back to being, you know, I want to be perfect, I want everything to be perfect. So when I notice unperfect things, I get a little negative toward them, and sometimes I get too negative about them to the point where small issues that, that aren't really big issues become big issues, and I make them big issues, because I want it to be perfect. And I'm in this, you know, that shows I'm, I'm sometimes I'm pretty negative about things. And can become complacent and dependent on a schedule. That has to kind of do with, you know, I work very well with a schedule. I, I enjoy working with a schedule. When I, when I get told in the morning, when I look at my assignments of what I need to do, and if I have a list of things I need to do by Monday or Tuesday or Thursday or Wednesday, I do very good. But when something comes up, such as, you know, anything in life, anything in general, you know, when something when I get a curveball, I tend to struggle with that because I do become complacent and dependent on that schedule because that's how I like to structure my days. And knowing all this is going to help give me some semester goals and things I want to learn and improve on during the course of the semester. I want to become a better communicator to prepare for the business world after college. That is the field that I'm looking to get into and something communication for to me, especially giving talks, speeches, even things like that is very frightening to me. I don't have a lot of experience, so I, so I, I um, expect to learn a good bit and am excited to, to know, you know, I mean, not, not to know, but, you know, to um, just become better at it, because that, that is not a strength of mine. That is, that is not a strength of mine at all. Um, obtain a better understanding of the business world, and it is what I like to pursue, you know, um, I've had one job in the business world before, but other than that, not not very knowledgeable on it. That's that's one thing I hope to learn this semester. I'm taking other business classes, so this is something I definitely think is a goal that I would like to meet. And then the last one is use my strength to develop my weaknesses as a way to strengthen myself as a whole. You know, this whole thing, looking at your strengths and weaknesses and how you can apply those better and just even understanding what your weaknesses are is gonna make that weakness start, you start to understand it, and so it, it can become a strength if you learn to utilize it correctly. And all that is it's just gonna bring us back to the beginning, really. You know, I'm a hard worker, I, I'm diligent at the task at hand. Whatever I get, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna complete it to the best of my ability. If someone doesn't think it's perfect, I'm gonna strive for perfection and try to fix it. Um, I'm experienced in understanding of international cultures. This helps in a multitude of ways but really it helps down to a person to person level. I feel like I can relate a little bit more to other people and I can also give a lot of people insight that maybe they didn't, they didn't consider before. Uh, I'm a valuable member of a group working towards a goal, like a team. Um, I talked about this. I'm just a, good, just a good team player, you know, I'm willing, I'm willing to get down, get my own hands dirty when it comes to things like that, especially when it comes to things I know and I'm very comfortable with. Um, and then, and then that kind of leads into the last thing. I will become complacent due to the fear of unfamiliarity. I am I am a pretty nervous guy when it comes to things like this. It takes a lot of self-confidence. It takes a lot of motivation for me to come up and talk and even to face un unfamiliar things, you know, whether it be in the drive through at a McDonald's out in Nebraska. That That's something that I have tend to struggle with. It's small little things like that that I have a weakness in. Well, during this whole thing... Um, I hope maybe you learned a little bit about me. I know I learned a lot of, about myself, to be honest, and how I can get these things to be better, and how I can already improve on my strengths, and how I can use those strengths to improve my weaknesses. Thank you.